compared with the rally pressing the flowers between a cantina wall and a gel vest, the inlaid tally can make the finished candle holder more exquisite and with fewer air bubbles. Low density soft gel vest is required. Melt it over a medium heat. Get two glasses of different diameters. We can put a smaller one inside a larger one and place the tea light candle in it. Make sure a smaller glass can hold a tea light candle. The diameter of the two cups should be equal or greater than about 2 cm, and the height of the larger one should be greater than or equal to the smaller cup. For a reference, I'm using glasses with diameters of about 8 cm and 5 cm. Make sure the glass cups are clean and dust free. You may wipe them clean with a wet wipe beforehand. Get some dry pressed flowers. If you're making your own pressed flowers, make sure they're completely dry. Also, prepare a cookie cutter mold and choose the shape you like. Place the cutter mold on a flat silicone mold or a piece of baking paper. It's better to put it on a flat silicone mold for a glossy surface. When the wax reaches about 130 degrees Celsius, pour a thin layer of about 2 mm into the cutter mold. If there are air bubbles on the surface, use a small torch to get rid of them. It's the same thing used for resin. When the surface of the wax cools down to 100 degrees Celsius, use tweezers to pick up the pressed flowers and place them on the wax surface. Gently press the details and contour of the flowers with the tweezers to make them fully adhere to the wax surface. If do this properly, the gel wax lights will be basically bubble free. Once all the flowers are pressed, reheat the wax to around 100 degrees Celsius. Pour about 2 mm into a cutter mold. Again, if there are bubbles on the surface, get rid of them by using a small torch. This will give you a nearly bubble-free gel flower slice about 5 mm thick. Wait for about 15 minutes for the gel wax slice to completely solidify. Carefully demold the gel wax slice. After confirming the position of the glass, press the glossy side of the slice onto the inner wall of the glass. Make sure to press it flat and push out any air bubbles on the contact surface. Also, avoid repeatedly tearing it off and pressing it back on, as this will create air bubbles. Add white pigment to the fully melted gel vase and make it opaque white. If you've seen my candle supply video, you know that dye and pigment are different. Pigment can make the wax opaque, while dye cannot. I only have a set of liquid candle dyes and one white pigment. If you're the same here and want to make other colors like me, I recommend using white pigment to make the gel wax opaque white first, then using the candle dye to create your favorite color. This is because air bubbles can be seen in opaque white. If you have pigment of other colors, you can directly add it to the wax liquid without first adding white. Unless you want to create a kind of milky light color, in which case you need to start with a white base. Gel wax color mixing is straightforward and doesn't require confirming on white paper or whiteboard. What you see is what you get. 
After mixing the color, we heat the wax liquid to 100 degrees Celsius and pour a little into a larger glass. After about 3 to 5 minutes, place a smaller glass on top, raising the height of the desired level. Zhao Wei says quickly, if the small glass has been placed, but the wax underneath can't still support it, you can hold it like this for a while. Once faced, reheat the gel wax again and pour it into the glass at 100 degrees Celsius. If it's winter and the room temperature is low, the pouring temperature needs to be increased to 110 degrees Celsius. Wait for it to completely certify. During the waiting time, I made a black one. The operation steps are the same. First, make the gel vest slice, and then stick the glossy side of the gel vest to a cut wall. Then, melt some gel vest, turn the vest into opaque with white pigment, and then dye the vest black. You may put a tea light in it as a candle lantern, 